Hey guys, welcome back to Court Time USA. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, what we're doing today is we are going to be uh, uh, replacing the uh, 200 micron sieve that I have here. Uh, and I want to change it out to get clogged uh, from all the algae, fungus, all the whatever is going on it. Uh, so I turned off the circuit to the uh, uh, moving bed inside of K1 and then uh, all the bacteria house under here. Uh, so I unplugged that uh, white cable there. So the second circuit, which is the um, um, monster shower is still running. Uh, so that's the water clarity of it with the uh, do-it-yourself uh, filtration there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut off the zip ties, and there's four of them. Been held on with zip ties. There you go, and then there's one more in the back here. So you can get it for you. All right. Just yank out these zip ties. Place it right here, and then the uh, the sieve itself will just pop out. There, see? There you go. So that's the sieve. I'm gonna change out the cloth. It's got dirty. I can clean it, but you know it's so cheap. These are a dollar. You get like a lot of uh, nylon mesh. And since I have this down, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bacteria house. See how sparkly clean that thing is? Crazy is clean. See? That's how clean the sieve cle keeps the bacteria house. So that's how that goes. I'm gonna put this back here for now. Mount this back. So basically under the sieve, it, uh, all the clear water goes down here and gets distributed here to the distribution bay, goes into the bacteria house. And there's the catch can here. All the extra big bulky material will catch right there. Now I can take this out to rinse. And I actually rinse on the sieve. And then it runs down into the moving bed and the static structure. All right, guys. I'm going to show you how I changed out the, uh, the, uh, the cloth there. So the staples here, we're going to pry them out. Take all the staples out. So we can see right there. See how easy that is. Hey guys, I just cleaned off this uh, PVC pipe there I made. And then again, you get uh, a sheet of this uh, four times the size from China. It's for $1.80. So one sheet for $1.80 from China will last you probably a year. I usually change this. Uh, Mm, uh, sieve out maybe uh, once every three months, uh, maybe four months, depending on how lazy I am. Um, so uh, basically, what we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this around, make it really tight, and then sh uh, shoot it up with a uh, power shot. Uh, make sure it's on on there on tight, and then I'll just zip to zip, zip tie it back onto the uh, the uh, filter there. So I'm doing this till I'm getting ready for the feeding season that's coming up. Uh, all right, let me uh, stay put this all up. side so now with this side you gotta make sure you have to have two hands and I won't re record it because you have to get make sure the, the cloth is uh, is taut so you have to pull on it and staple you um, staple all the uh, cloth in to secure it to the PVC um, you're gonna get is a, a knife or scissors to uh, trim all the excess uh, cloth off okay and then uh, we'll go mount it so I just trimmed off the excess uh, sieve here, and then you get the zip ties. So let's go mount it back on and turn on the uh, 
filter. All right, that's the new sieve right there. Go ahead and push it up here. Just blow through it here. Push it up alongside here. Run a zip tie through. There you go. So that's that side. And we got a zip tie. Uh, this one up here to the high setting. Also this one. Alright guys. I'm going to zip tie this up real quick. There you go. So that's the sieve. Normally I'll trim this off but I'll leave it there for now. And we'll uh, put the cash can in. And we'll uh, kick on the uh, power. There you go. Wait for the sieve to come through. So this is a new fresh sieve. You know the water coming through there. It's trying to catch up. I don't know where they tried it. all the crap. So those excess stuff that's in there has been filtered. So all the clean water is coming back down. And it's been pumped through the uh, material house. And all the crap stays on top. Not rocket science, guys. But once it gets heavy, all the sorry, the will eventually fall into the sieve or cash can. There you go. That's how that works. It's kind of nice that you have two circuits. Uh, you have one running while the other one is uh, um, down for repair or update or maintenance. See all that stuff that's being caught right now? All the poop, all the all, uh, all this lava rock stuff that's in the system. Got a bunch of bugs in there. It's nasty. But yeah. Yeah, this these little cloth seats of uh Christian Micro service you can get for uh, again at all the 80. And the sheet is four times this size, so I can buy one and it will last me for the whole year. It doesn't take long to replace the sieve itself. Four dollar eighty. There you go, guys. So the sieve is working, it's catching all the detritus right now, and the system is all back up and running. All right, guys. Uh, you know, during this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic, make sure you keep yourself safe, keep your family safe, do the social distance thing. If you don't have to go anywhere, don't go anywhere. All the shows are canceled, anyways. Just stay home. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem, so help be part of the solution. Happy pawning, guys. Cheers.